In this video, you will learn HCF trick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more fast math tricks, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Let's have a look at the first HCF trick and the example we have is what is the highest common factor for 6 and 9. So for this example, as you guys could see, 6 and 9 is a very simple example. So rather than doing factor trees and division ladder to find the answer for this question, we have another simpler shortcut to find the answer. So let's start by finding the difference between 9 and 6. So we're going to do 9 minus 6 to find the difference, which is going to give you 3. Then you're going to see whether this 3 is a factor for both 6 and 9. And yes, it is. So this means our highest common factor for this question is 3. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now, let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at the second HCF trick. And the example we have is what is the highest common factor for both 15 and 25? For this example, we're going to once again find the difference for 15 and 25. So we're basically going to do 25 minus 15, which is going to give you an answer of 10. So we're going to see whether 10 is a factor of 15 and 25. 10 is not a factor of 15 and 25. So in this case, you're going to find the factors of 10. The factors of 10 are 2 and 5. You're going to first see if 2 is a factor of both 15 and 25. 2 is not a factor of both 15 and 25, so you can cross it off. Now we're going to see whether 5 is a factor of both 15 and 25. And yes, it is. It's a factor of both of them. So the number you choose from here must be a factor of both of them. If it's only a factor of one and not a factor of the other, then you cannot choose that. It always must be the factor of both of them. So in this case, our HCF for this question is five. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now, let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at the third HCF trick. And the example we have is, what is the highest common factor for 23 and 28? For this example, we're going to once again find the difference. So we're going to basically do 28 and then minus 23, which is going to give you 5. Next, we're going to see whether the 5 is a factor of both 23 and 28. It is not a factor of both 23 and 28. So in this case, we have to find the factors of 5. So the factors of 5 are 1 and 5. And as we said before, 5 does not work. So we're left with 1. So this means our highest common factor for this example is 1. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at the fourth HCF trick. And the example we have is what is the highest common factor for 30, 40, and 45. So in this example, we have three numbers, not two. So for this, we're going to find the difference between these three numbers. First, we're going to find the difference between the first and the second number, so between 30 and 40. The difference between these two numbers is 10, so we can write that down. Next, we're going to find the difference between the second and the last number, between 40 and 45. The difference is 5. So now, we're going to look at the first number and the last number. The difference between 30 and 45 is going to give you 15. So out of 10, 5 and 15, which one of these is the smallest? It's obviously 5. So now we're going to see whether this 5 is a factor of 30, 40, and 45, and yes it is. So this means our highest common factor for this example is 5. I hope you guys understood everything so far. Now let's go on to the next one. Let's have a look at our fifth HCF trick. And the example we have is what is the highest common factor for 12, 30, and 84. So in this example, we'll have to find the difference between these three numbers. So the difference, as we all know, between 12 and 30 is going to be much lower than the difference between 30 and 84 and the difference between 12 and 84. This means we can just do the difference between 12 and 30. So the difference between 12 and 30 is going to give you 18. Next, you're going to see whether this 18 is a factor of 12, 30 and 84 and it's not. So in this case, you're going to write the 18 as a product of its primes. So when writing the 18 as a product of its prime, you're going to do 2 times 3 
times 3. So first, let's divide the 12, 30 and 84 by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is going to give you 6. And then 30 divided by 2 is going to give you 15. And finally, 84 divided by 2 is going to give you 42. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to divide these numbers by 3. So 3 divided by 6 is going to give you 2. 3 divided by 15 is going to give you 5. And 3 divided by 42 is going to give you 14. Now let's see if we can divide 2, 5 and 14 by the 3. We cannot. So we can just cross off the 3 that's in the end. Now we're left with 2 and 3. What we have to do to find the highest common factor is 2 times these 2. So 2 times 3 is going to give you an answer of 6. So the highest common factor for this example is 6. Now to learn more on math tricks, click the video on the right and to learn the previous trick, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.